friends, happy holidays. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing another TomTalk sling style messenger bag. This bag's fantastic and it's something I would definitely take advantage of right now. They're running a sale. You can get a lot of their items up to 30% off. TomTalk sent me this bag a couple of weeks ago for review. I've been toting it around town, dragging it through the city, throwing it around my car, really beating it up and it's held up great. And they did not have any kind of input or say with this. They did provide this. I'm not being paid to say any of this. And they're not going to get to see the final review before I put it out to you guys. So I want to try to keep these reviews honest and unbiased. However, I'm really impressed with the products, especially for the price point. This one uh, retails for like $69.99. But like I said, they're having a Black Friday sale, holiday sale. Things are up to 30% off. So now's a good time to go check out their website. I'm definitely going to drop the links in the description below for their official page, as well as a direct link. Uh, to the page for this bag and Amazon. So what is this? Well, this is a sling and like you guys know, the sling lines up great between someone's pockets and someone's backpack, right? How much can I carry in the middle, right? A nice slim down version of everything I need. It's not gonna weigh me down, but it's gonna allow me to do more than just fiddling over here with my phone. I'm not a huge person that does everything on their phone, not yet. So introducing the Explorer HO2, right? That's the messenger bag that I've been carrying here. Wonderful bag, let's jump into it. It's made out of really nice materials. Let's get into the fit first though, because I think that's important. For a sling to be king, it can only be as good as its strap. I find a lot of companies don't get a strap quite right, but TomTalk does, and everything is adjustable here. You get a nice nylon seatbelt style strap on a lot of products. This is like kind of a Cordura fabric, but similar to seatbelt material. It's nice, but it holds the bag in place a little bit better. So when you're doing one of these in between people who are walking too slow in the city, it doesn't really slide around, which is nice because it keeps it in place. That complemented by the kind of more sturdy, if you can hear that, neoprene padding. It, it's great because it covers the end of the belt buckle here, but also goes up and all the way around your shoulder. So. It, it keeps the bag really still while allowing for a little bit more dense padding. So you're definitely gonna feel the load in this bag a little bit and you're gonna know exactly where it's sitting on your shoulder, but it's comfortable, but it's not so padded that the padding just sinks down. What I'm trying to say is that it's well engineered and designed for the load that is intended to carry. This bag obviously is accessible by sliding it around here. It's got a nice clean finish, Cordura fabric on the, on the top. A nice waterproof fabric on the top and bottom. And if you look on the bottom of this bag, which most bags in this category do not have, it has these multi-use straps. Now, most people say these are like straps to cinch stuff down or you can stick stuff in there. I like these for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes I attach gear to there, but they're also good grab handles for actually just manipulating the sling in general. One of the things that uh, a strap needs to have, in my opinion, is the Duraflex buckle, which they have. It just makes taking the sling on and off a lot easier. If you have a jacket, you don't want to be fighting something like this. The other thing a sling needs, almost everything that I, that I own that's a carrying device needs a handle, at least a decent top handle. And this one has it. It has a really nice double stitched padded handle that's bar stitched into the framework of the bag and it's good for carrying it and you don't have to worry about ripping it, but you need some way to grab it. Those are the two most important things. When I'm, when I'm looking at a bag, if it doesn't have a good carry handle and a good strap, I kind of just go elsewhere, um, but Tom Talk seems to get that really right. So let's take a look at this bag, show you what I have in here. All right, so here it is, the Tom Talk Explorer HO2. Very nice bag. They sent this to me. I've been carrying this around. As you can see, I really put this through its paces here, starting on the front of the bag. Like I said, it has a nice waterproof material that covers most of the bag, which is really nice. So if you're carrying your laptop, or whatever and, and it's getting this bag is getting wet um, it's not going to get wet on the inside two two removable compression straps with duralast uh, duraflex straps here super nice they do also do have cable management so if you want to tuck your coat or something round up here if you want to carry a much larger thermos you can put it inside of here looking at the front of the bag now this is actually a pocket and i really like the design of this because it's clean but it also offers a level of security if you take a peek inside here you can see there's actually a zipper with a bar stitched zipper pull it's really nice it's like a nice hard rubber material that doesn't stretch it's a ykk zipper and it runs the entire length of the bag let's see what i have inside i have my 
RFID wallet with my uh, coffee shop gift cards. This is the perfect companion to any coffee shop. I have my AirPods Pro. This one also has a built-in lanyard here, nice red lanyard with a all metal construction hook. And I just use it to keep my pharma keys on. It's pretty simple. I also keep a SD card holder in here. I'm also keeping my Samsung SSD in here, which I use to edit all my footage off of. I keep a dedicated USB-C cable to lightning port cable. This is also something I carry with me. And that's all that I keep in this pocket here. This bag does thankfully feature the same loops that they have on both sides that their other slings have, which is great for attaching small gear. I actually keep a flashlight on here um, just to have when I'm walking around outside is a nice quick grab item, as well as my keys. When I carry them on this here, I actually use the hero clip, which is really nice because you can turn this around and it becomes a clip. And then I can use this to actually clip back onto this and hang this back onto the table of a coffee shop, the back of a plane. And occasionally, if I absolutely have to use a public restroom, I will hang this on the edge of the door so that I can keep my sling off the ground and out of public view. Super handy. This again is called a Hero Clip. Really like this device. Um, seems to be really handy. They're not that expensive and they offer a lot of flexibility. Now, working our way around the back of the sling here, where that nice carry handle is that we talked about earlier, they also have another hidden pocket in the back. These are really nice pockets for, and this one's quite large. It actually goes from here on the bag to roughly here and all the way down as well. And they allow you to carry just items that you want. You know, if you had like a checkbook or a passport, or you know, you wanted to in a nice little convenient place to throw your RFID wallet or something like that, it would slide in there really nicely. And you wouldn't have to worry about people having access to this compartment because once you put the sling onto your body, it's against your back. The zipper is really hidden as well and it's the most secure pocket on the bag at that point. I typically don't carry much in here other than throwing receipts and paperwork or documents that I need to have access to quickly when I get home. On the top of this bag, Tom Talk opted to go for a YKK AquaGuard zipper. That is because this bag is designed to carry a 14 inch laptop or an iPad. So as your electronics get more expensive, you really wanna make sure that they are protected from the elements. This bag does a fantastic job at that by utilizing AquaGuard zippers. They're very smooth. I have no issues with them binding, especially around the curves or if you pack this bag out, if they were to stretch out at all. In this manner here, you can see it really just glides down the track easy. And I do have this bag packed out. So let's take a look and see what I have in here as well. I carry, of course, hand sanitizer because of the pandemic. And just to be clean, I have a double USB-C 35 watt charging brick from Apple. This is, the, this is the travel model. I really like this because it folds up small, but it allows me to charge both an iPad and my iPhone at fast charging at the same exact time. Kind of handy. Next, I have my iPad mini. Now, regardless of whether or not I'm actually carrying a dedicated iPad, I take this with me everywhere I go because of the form factor. It's perfect for reading, and it also serves as a viable replacement for my actual iPad. Um, it's nicer as a larger viewing uh, experience than my iPhone does, even though I have the Plus model. I just I bought this, and I always carry this with me. It's great for note taking as well, and so I usually pair it with the Apple Pencil. Now, if I need a little more performance or real estate, I will take my iPad Pro with me, which fits in here perfectly. With the Magic Keyboard, again, this bag is designed to carry a 14-inch laptop, a 14-inch MacBook Pro will fit. However, I do not believe that the 16-inch MacBook Pro will fit in here. We can try it if you'd like, but it's only rated for a 14-inch laptop. I know somebody's gonna ask me this question, even though I said 14, they're gonna be like, hey, listen, I have a brand new M1 Max MacBook, and I need to know if the 16-inch will fit in there. So right now, you and I are gonna figure this out together. So, while it physically fits in the bag, it almost fits, but it does not quite fit. So if you are somebody who's looking at this for a 16 inch Macro Pro, you're going to need to opt for a larger bag. It doesn't fit, but it is close. It'll fit the 14 inch, no problem. Also in here I have 
my alpaca clutch, which I use for keeping uh, my cards, as well as a pen and a, another little flashlight. I use this if I'm going to break down into a smaller pack. Let's take a look at the pockets on this bag. Starting with the front pocket. This is actually a really nice pocket. Aside from being hidden and completely protected from the elements, it is home to the lanyard as well as a dual pocket setup in here. So there's a one pocket on each side and that allows you to kind of just keep your gear a little bit more organized here. Like I said, it does have stitching down the middle to divide the pocket, but also has a large dump section in the front. This is really the only quick, here we go, little quick grab pockets that this bag offers. Um, I was, I was kind of concerned about the space. There's more than enough space in here to put just about anything you want. Um, even stuff like this will fit and slide right into these pockets. We'll close that up. Jumping into the main compartment here, you'll see that we have a large elastic pocket on this side and a large solid pocket on this side. And those are both stitched onto a zipper pocket that runs the entire length of the bag. So again, there's a YKK zipper in here too. Tom Talk does not skimp out on any of the zippers here and it has a zipper on each side. So whether you want to access this bag from the left or the right hand side, they actually include dual zippers on an interior pocket. You're not going to find that on a lot of bags. On the back side of that, they do have a padded section here, a padded wall, and then the laptop sleeve here, which is quite large and allows you to get uh, a large, large 14-inch MacBook in, in, in here, or a 14-inch laptop in here. It's not just going to fit the smallest 14-inch. They didn't rate this particular bag for the smallest of carry. This is set up so that it can carry a large variety of things. If you have this bag, it's, it's basically gonna work for you because you can carry headphones in here, water bottles in here, you can put sweatshirts in here. I carried a pair of running shoes in here with my gym clothes before. This is really nice. And you can drag this around. As you can see, I beat this bag up a little bit and it still functions great. So who is this bag right for? This bag is right for anybody who travels, walks to work, rides an airplane, or has a laptop that's under 16 inches. More or less, it is so flexible that you can use this for just about anything. You can throw gym clothes in here, you can throw sweatshirts in here, and you can also throw all of your tech in here as well. And as it allows you to bring a laptop, that, that kind of moves the realm of possibility forward a lot um, in terms of everyday carry. If you're looking to do video editing, or if you're a power user, or if you need to do write a script, or you need to you know, do like more intensive photo editing that you don't want to do on an iPad, now you can bring a laptop with you. It's great. It has fall protection, it has AquaGuard, YKK zippers, it has eco-friendly materials. I definitely think this is worth it. And right now, TomTalk is running a great sale for Black Friday and for the holidays. You can get up to 30% off on a lot of their products. I'm gonna link everything in the description down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and head on down to Alpha Artisan on Instagram. Write what your favorite TomTalk product is or something you wanna see a review of and you will be entered in to win something in December. I'm thinking that this giveaway is going to be probably December 15th and we'll basically do a lottery and then we'll start sending out some free stuff, which would be pretty cool. Who doesn't like free stuff around the holidays? All right, guys, stay safe and enjoy your holiday season.